On November 11, 1999, a Hutchinson High School senior named Lindsey Whalen signed a letter of intent to play basketball for the University of Minnesota. Her signature set everything else into motion. Beautiful pass by Whalen, Minnesota, heading to the final four for the Lindsay first Whalen. Waylon's success has never been surprising to her hometown of Hutchinson. The town knew her as a teenager when she broke the state's high school scoring record and led her Tigers to three conference championships. Her legacy remains an inspiration at home. That's my dream to play college and like play in the WNBA, but like she made it seem like realistic. Lisa Wirtz is a senior guard for Hutchinson. She and her teammate Michaela Stamer weren't even born when Waylon played for the Tigers, but that doesn't matter. All the hard work she had to put in to be as successful as she does makes us want to work hard. Proud to know that she's like, like we're from Hutch, she's from Hutch. Tonight they'll get to show Lindsey Whalen what they're made of when the Tigers tip off the 2018-19 season in their renovated gym. Whalen Gymnasium, it will be named, unveiled during a pregame tribute scheduled for 6.30. It's awesome. I love it. And when they come out on the floor, they'll be wearing Whalen's number, 13. And we're going to wear them instead of our warm-ups, just so everyone knows like, that she's here and that this is her gym now. And eventually they'll be able to reflect back as the very first team to play in the gym named for their hometown hero. Her hard work had paid off. She came from this town and she did it, so why can't I? And in a little more than an hour, this place is going to be packed with a sellout crowd expected so everyone can witness the moment this place officially becomes known as Wayland Gymnasium. In Hutchinson, I'm Danny Spiewak, Care 11 News.